video, I'm going to be showing you everything I'm bringing with me for my sophomore year to my sorority house. Last year, I was in a dorm, but my dorm is actually right next to my house this year, so it's pretty much the same location on campus still, so I can walk to my classes and everything, but I do still have a roommate. Our house is like two rows of all these different rooms, and each girl has a roommate, so I'm using a lot of the same stuff from last year. We kept everything in our side garage over the summer that I used for my dorm room, because obviously you don't really need that stuff at home, but I moved it all to our living room here, so that gave me a good idea of everything that I wanted to bring or to keep at home. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you everything that I'm bringing. This is all like basic stuff for your room, so if you're contemplating what to bring, I hope this helps because I know last year I was really confused on what to bring, but this is all stuff that I used in my dorm last year and that I wanna bring for this year too. My little pile here. I'm just gonna start pulling random stuff from it. Not really any rhyme or reason. Okay, so first is bedding. I had white bedding from Target that I got last year and I'm gonna use it this year too. It's like a quilt material and it has little doves on it and it's really pretty but honestly I wouldn't recommend white bedding which is what everyone said and I still got it it looks okay like we got most of the stains out but yeah it was just kind of stained throughout the year and I feel like you can still see little marks but the quilt looks fine I think and my mom washed these thank you mom I would definitely recommend cleaning all your stuff before you go it just gives you one less thing to worry about when you get there I also have this big pillow headrest kind of thing or I don't know it's like something you lean on if you can see that and it also has like little pockets I haven't used these but that would be nice to just put things in i can't if i lug this out but this is a mattress topper i'm sure you have all heard of this this is really important because in the dorms you just kind of get a plastic covered mattress and it's not very good quality so this definitely helps making your bed more comfy and yeah you just kind of unfold it and it has these straps that you strap to each side of the mattress and then you just put your bedding on and you're good to go next we have shoe racks this is new i don't know how to use this really i don't know if you stack it or they're just two different racks but we have a wardrobe in our house, which is really nice. Last year, we just had like, I don't even know what it was, kind of like a shelf. And then on the bottom was a place to hang your clothes. So we ended up getting a shower rod and curtain when we got there. So that way you were kind of able to make it a closet. But yeah, this year we have wardrobes, but you still need a place to put your shoes. And I also used a shoe rack last year. I had a wooden one and it broke pretty quick. Maybe these will work better, these kind of wire ones. But yeah, I'm gonna put this at the bottom of the wardrobe. Then I have this. This is a laundry tote that we got at Target. But yeah, it's just a bin to put all your dirty clothes. I did see some people last year in the dorms have like backpack, laundry bags, or roller ones. So that's really nice because this did get pretty heavy sometimes just holding it. My mom got me some of these makeup cloths. So these have kind of thin towels in here that you wet to take your makeup off. And they're pretty big so you can keep reusing them different nights until it's just like filled with makeup and you have to throw it away. But it's nice instead of just disposing all the little wipes. So I'm gonna bring these for next year. This year. Oh my gosh. I'm moving in three days. <laughs> it's the 31st and I move in the second. Also, that's why this video is a little delayed. I don't go to school for a while. Okay, then I have this, which is just like a little laundry bag. I feel like you can just put delicates or something in here. And then I also have a little bath towel when you're washing your face and stuff. Oh, a shower caddy. This is super important. This is just nice to put all your stuff in before you go to the shower. And yeah, I also have shower shoes upstairs. Very important. <laughs> I could not imagine putting my bare feet on the communal bathrooms. And I'm in kind of a communal like sorority bathroom. Definitely keep my shower shoes but yeah this is nice because it has a little strap and then I do need to work on bath towels because mine got kind of marked up from last year but I also have just a beach towel we live near a beach so just in case and it's good to have like I found myself sitting on the quad too and it was nice to just grab a towel or a cute little blanket whatever you have then we have a cart a little three-tier cart I saw this in a lot of dorm essential videos so I got one honestly I didn't use it a ton I used it for just extra things in my room but maybe I'll use it more this year. You can also just use it as like a decorative piece almost like put all your cute little knickknacks on or a coffee station. It is very versatile. I just didn't really know what to do with it. So yes, first is the red Keurig. We got this from Target. It's a Keurig mini. My friend Sydney actually just got a really cute green color that they just came out with. I feel like these mini ones are just really nice for dorm rooms or any small spaces and I really liked having it. It wasn't completely necessary because we do have grab and go swipes where you can get coffee but it's just nice having your own. Then I have this bin. This is new from Target. It was like the dollar section. They had some really cute stuff there. We also got this mini candle there and this pack of tissues. I think they're all individual packs in here. I know I get allergies, so this is really helpful. And then I also just have this picture frame. I don't have a picture in it yet, but I like the design. And then this is kind of school supplies. I don't know where we got this 
little cup holder, but it just has all these different markers in it. So I can just throw this on my desk and it's nice for notes or when you're making flashcards or something to make them look pretty. And then this is kind of random. I still have to go through our kitchen and stuff. I have a water bottle that I use, but I have workout classes before I leave. So I'm going to leave that in the kitchen, but I did set these two aside. This is like a cute little wine glass I found at the thrift store. And then this is a little kind of thermos. What is it called when it has the straw? I don't know, but it's really cute. And I feel like I'll definitely use this at school. I feel like I was very dehydrated. So I'm also going to get a Brita when I go. And I don't know, water is just very scarce for some reason. So make sure you either bring bottled water or definitely have a water bottle or Brita. Next, I have a two pack of razors. It's good to bring things in excess because you are going to run out. So it's nice to just have maybe if you have like a basket of extra things like toiletries or makeup that you'll need. Next, I have these cute little shelves um, from Urban Outfitters. These weren't very sturdy. Like my dad had to secure the wire to the bottom of it, but now they're good to go. Next, this is also from the dollar section. I thought this would be just nice to sit on my desk, kind of just put whatever on it. I feel like I have a lot of things like this, so I'm curious to see where I'll put everything. Next, I have tampons. These are all different sizes. Again, I like the big box because you know it'll last a while. Oh, this is random, but this is peanut butter that we got on vacation. And it's just like all these fun flavors, so I'm gonna bring this. I would definitely recommend having healthy snacks or fruit or whatever you like in your room just so you have access to it. So yeah, I'm gonna bring that. I like apples and peanut butter a lot. Next, we have these detergent pods. This is scent free. My dermatologist doesn't like me having anything scented. These are just little pods that you can throw into your laundry. I had like a big thing of detergent last year and I feel like this is just better. Oh, then I have this blanket. I got this at Kohl's and I really liked it and I do like it. I just feel like I don't know if it matches the vibe. I'll show you guys. I got another throw blanket and another pillow for my bedding. So I don't know if it matches, but maybe I'll just use this as an extra because it's so cute. It's kind of like Mediterranean Mamma Mia. Aww. Okay, I didn't even know this was in here. But this is an Abigail sign. I've had this since I was little. So maybe I can just hang it on my wall or something because I don't really have a lot of wall decor. So I can just bring this in case. Really mark my territory. Okay, this is a big box. It's really heavy, but it has a lot of random stuff in it. I also have, I'll put a picture, these white cubicles that I love. I wasn't sure if they would fit in my dorm, but they fit good and I use them a lot. And I'm also bringing them to the house, but these bins go in them. Here we go. This part is supposed to like, it folds out like that, but it's just squished right now. And it has this little square to go on the bottom. So it's nice. They're really good for travel since you can just fold them up. I have another orange one. There was spiders in it because all this stuff was in the garage and the cubicles had ants on it. So I was just too scared to move that. But yeah, that's where these go. And I think I'm going to put a lot of my books in that white cubicle this year. So I'm really excited. I think that'll look cute. Then I have this. This is, oh my gosh. This is a little basket from Urban Outfitters. This is also foldable, like these sides click. Again, not super great quality because I have some bigger white ones where I actually have like some first aid things in, like all my medicine in one of them. And then I have all my cleaning stuff in one of them. And a lot of times the side doesn't click. This one's good though. So I think these mini ones are better. These are some sticky notes. Well, they're not even sticky. They're just like pieces of paper, <laughs> but they're just handy to write things on. I have some scissors. I found myself needing these a lot last year and I didn't have any. So bring some this year. And then I just have this cute little sign that says, if it doesn't feed your soul, let it go. So I had this hanging above my bed last year. I'm going to bring it again. Okay, then the last thing in this bin is this like, I don't even know, kind of storage compartment. It has, it's basically one big bin and then it has three smaller bins inside if you can see that. So this is a bigger one. This just has some dry erase markers and magnets in it and a birdie. My dad likes me having some sort of siren thing and pepper spray. So <laughs> I'm bringing both of those. And then this is just a cute little container I wanted to bring. And then this is a little diffuser. Okay, then this is for nursing, kind of specific, but we have to bring protective wear. So these are my lab glasses. I have microbiology lab. Sounds so fun. And then this is a little bag my mom gave me. So this is a little finger thing, some scissors, badge tags. Yeah. Then we have a blood pressure cuff and a stethoscope. I ordered this in the beginning of the summer. Guys, look how beautiful. I picked this Caribbean blue color it was called and look, I customized it. And it says Abby Gigliotti with a heart. So it's adorable. Okay, I think I'm gonna move over there because that's where the rest of my stuff is. Then I have a big bin full of power plugs. Then this is the dry erase board. It's sectioned off in today's. So yeah, this is nice to write things on. And as a little reminder, we hung it on the wall. So it was right above my desk. Here we have some extra coffee for the Keurig. Here is a fan. I love this. We use this all the time. Then we have a mirror. This is one from when I was little. And yeah, we're gonna need to get a body mirror when we go because I don't have one for school. But this is just nice to check your makeup before you leave or something. Oh, then I have this, which I honestly didn't use that much last year. It's like a tray. 
away and you can put your laptop on it and stuff. But I'm gonna try and use it more this year because I heard it's good to have your laptop above you when you're working. I don't know, and I could see that. It makes it feel more professional. So it's also good for your bed um, to have like a little desk in your bed. Oh, I also have this little, I don't even know what it is. It just helps me get up and down from bed because the beds were pretty high. A lot of people had ones that had lids on it. So it was also storage. Next is my backpack. I don't have too much school supplies yet because I don't really know what I'll need, but I have some of these little tags. I have an unnecessarily large pack of pencils, some colored pencils. I like making everything colorful. Some notebooks. And I also have a folder. I brought binders last year, but I never ended up using them. So I'm just keeping those at home. And then I also have a pencil case filled with some erasers, highlighters, and stuff like that. Then we have this. This is a three drawer plastic kind of thing. So I think I'm gonna fill it with clothes before we pack everything up. And this will fit under my bed. And that's also where we put it last year. So this was nice to have for extra storage. I definitely use this a lot because my dorm room only came with one like three drawer dresser. Then I have this chair. I don't know what it's called. Chair cover? <laughs> chair pad. I don't know. You put it on top of a chair so it's soft. I don't know if I'd need one of these. I don't know if I'll need one again. Last year our dorm came with a chair and it had a little cushion on it but then I already had this so I was like oh I'll just make it cute and put it on. Um, This year I don't have a chair though so I don't know if I'll end up needing this or not. Like if I'll get a comfy one or I'll just get a wooden one and use this. I'll bring it in case. Then we have this. Again really good for storage. You hang it up in your closet and it just has all these different squares and stuff. I think this one gets gradually smaller but it's nice sweaters or pants or whatever. Okay, then I have a couple more random storage things, but this is a spinny little <laughs> um, square thing where you can put makeup brushes or pencils and that's from Home Goods. And then this is also from Home Goods, I think. It's just a three square thing where you can also put kind of the same stuff. This is a lamp. This is a pink one. I just thought it was so cute. Like when the light bulb's in it, I feel like it'll be a nice ambiance with the pink light. Then I have this pillow also from Home Goods. It says Paris or Boutique Paris on it. I like the green color. And then lastly, I have this throw blanket from Home Goods. See, the two blankets are just very different vibes. But I like this one a lot because, you know, you're at school fall and winter, and then at my school, you don't really get a spring. <laughs> so this will definitely be fitting for all the seasons. I'm basically at school. And yeah, I just like the colors. They're nice warm tones. And then it has these huge tassels, which kind of gives it some character. So yeah, that is everything. Hopefully this was helpful. I love you guys so much, and I hope you have a great year. Okay, I will see you guys in the next one. overview. <laughs>